So in last week's video, we were talking about um, a simple tip on how to enhance your low end by layering a sub. Now in that video, I used an instrument, which is something that I sampled and created, and I've turned that into a sound set. So I had a user reach out to me and ask if there's any way that I'd be willing to share that. And the short answer is, yeah, no problem. It was actually something that I intended to do. I just forgot about creating those instruments. So what I thought we would do is I'm just going to upload this to Personas Exchange, and we're just going to do this in real time. So first of all, one thing to talk about, if you are a Studio One user, and again, this might look a little different depending on which version of Studio One that you're running, but in this case, I'm running Studio One version 5.5.2, and also I have a Sphere membership. So if you head over to your menu in your browser section, if we head over to the cloud section over here, and let's actually go back to the very top level folder, uh, cloud over here, you'll notice that you have three folders. Now, the minute you click Personas Exchange, you have the ability to sign in. And once that's done, we have all these different folders of content that can be shared from various Studio One users all over the world. So you can upload everything from sound variations or effects chains. There's color schemes in here. Um, for example, we have patterns. In this case, uh, if we take a look at the sound sets folder, this is something where I've actually uh, uploaded some content to. I can go to my folder over here, which is Marcus Huskins Music. So I've uploaded two different sound sets. So this is integrated really nicely into the browser with Studio One. It's very, very easy to be able to install these once you search them and you find them. So if we take a look at this instrument over here, this is the instrument that I'm gonna be uploading. Just kind of a cool sounding um, bass sound. I don't necessarily think it sounds super modern. Doesn't really sound super dated. These days, there's kind of like a blurred line in between. You can use really anything. You can use something modern, you can use something vintage, and you can somehow make it work. So let's hop over to our browser for a moment. Now, depending on whether you are a Persona Sphere subscriber or whether you just have a perpetual license, this might look a little different um, as opposed to just the my.personas.com. But essentially, either way, we want to go to the Exchange tab. When we go to the Exchange tab, we have our featured artists here because, as I say, I'm a Sphere subscriber, so you have the ability to download things like macros or effects chains and stuff from different uh, Personas artists. In this case, I also have a tab that says my items. These are all the items that I've uploaded. Anything that is over here, this is only for Sphere subscribers, but I also have some stuff that I've uploaded to Exchange. I have three different items over here which are available to all Studio One users. So what I wanna do is I want to click the Upload tab, and one quick way to be able to find this out, if you've created um, a, an instrument yourself that you've packed into a sound set, is that if I was to head over to this over here, we have the ability to right click and show in Finder. So this gives me now the name mhmusicsynthbass.soundset. So this is the actual file. This is the sound set that I want to upload to Exchange. So we're going to come back here. I'm going to click the Upload tab. It's very simple. I'm going to choose the file, and we're just going to scroll to that same one. We want mhmusic. And what do we have? Synthbase.soundset. So we just want to make sure that we have the exact same one, 169.4, 169.4, that is the one. Okay, so now from here, I'm just going to upload this. Now, it's queued to upload. We can upload this now. So let's do that upload. While it's uploading, I'm just going to open this instrument. I don't think I've created an audio file. This is something that you can do. You can have like a preview file. So if somebody is uh, using the browser over here, I think I did it for one of these. Yeah, this one right over here. So, so that would download and it would take a second. And then this just gives an audio preview of basically what the sound set is like. Now you don't have to have an audio preview, but it's nice because people will be able to tell if they like it or not. For this one, I think if you like it, if you don't like it, no problem, you can just delete it. So let's go back over to our browser. This is currently uploading. One thing I will do though, is I'm going to just copy this text into the clipboard because this will be part of my description. Okay, so I'm gonna let this upload and I will just fast forward the video and I'll catch up with you when it's finished uploading. Okay, so the upload is done and it's just processing right now. So now automatically we have um, a title over here 
and we have a description. The description was already added. This point, if I had an audio preview, this is something where I could upload an MP3, but in this case, I'm just going to skip that. So we have basically all the relevant information that's needed. We have a title and we have a description and chances are if you're watching this video and have any interest in downloading this instrument, you'll already know what it sounds like or if you're watching the previous video. So at this point, I'm just going to click save. So now this is now loading and everything is good. Now this should be sitting in exchange and it has to go through an approval process. So the item is unpublished and only viewable by me. So chances are by the time that this video goes live, that process should be done. And then once that is done, that's something that you'll be able to find just by navigating to the cloud tab, navigating to Personas Exchange, uh, go into the sound sets folder over here, and then if you scroll down right over here, should be able to find it in, it'll either be in Marcus Huskins or it might be in Marcus Huskins Music. I can't remember if this was something that was put there in a custom folder or anything like that. But that is the process. It's really, really simple. It's just like dragging and dropping, giving a description of something, and then this sound set or this instrument will be available for users to install a simple click and clicking the install button and that is it it'll be able to be installed now the other thing is because of the way i designed the folder structure from within here um, i have basically already added the folder so studio one is going to scan the presets when you install this you may have to refresh them but then once that is done you will end up having an actual folder in your presence XT that says MH music. And if you scroll down, you'll end up seeing synth base one. So that'll actually be available. And then of course you can modify that preset, make any changes or do anything you like with it. And I hope you get some use out of this pretty cool sounding instrument. Just something I did when I had a bunch of time and I wanted to sample some different things from a rock mount synthesizer that I've got sitting here before it dies. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.